Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. I wanted to show you, I was gonna make one of these wreaths again for the door because I didn't really have much time. The red, white, and blue one, patriotic one. I wish I could use it again to the end of the season, you know, because there's different holidays, isn't Labor Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, I guess President's Day. Um, anyways, um, I didn't really get to use that much, you know, very long and whatever. And I thought that I would do something really bright for my front door. And so I, you know, showed you the ones before. I'm going to do the flip-flop one. But I decided to do this one because I got inspired by this right here. Because it's got, you know, pink and green, you know, and light pink and all that kind of thing. So I got these colors together and I decided to use these, okay, um, over here. I ripped those, uh, you know, ribbon pieces and stuff like that. And basically how I did it was I got one of these square things at Walmart, okay? Um, or you can get them anywhere. I've seen them other places as well. Make sure you have a couple pair of scissors that are nice and strong. Um, I had another one floating around. What is another pair of scissors? I always have, you know, a few pairs of scissors out and everything because sometimes they get lost, you know what I mean, in the mix or whatever. Okay, over here, what I do, like I said, that square piece, then I just cut it right there. Then, after that, take it up and rip it. See what I'm saying? It's more shabby chic kind of look. Okay. Um. So, I have all different colors down here. I haven't used this yet. But then, okay, here's what this is. is. The wreath, okay, that I got from Dollar Tree. All right. I kind of rearranged them different ways and stuff like that. Um, you know, before I did try to start off with a pattern. I guess this is sort of a pattern kind of thing. Um, but then sometimes I would just, you know, throw them on there. This time I'm going to make a longer one. And then you can squish it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let me squish it here. Okay. And make it, I'm going to make a longer one this time and see what it looks like. Um, now, the mistake I made last time was I did one row, okay, going this way. And then I was like, but I think that I need to make two rows. It looks fuller. And then I asked this, this girl, uh, Diving with Purpose, she should show her wreath that was, turned out beautiful, the, the patriotic wreath. Um, but she put two rows, and I couldn't remember how many rows I put on there. So, like I said, that's one row there, okay? I think it probably looks really cute longer, too, as well. I mean, it's a different way of doing it. I'm going to do it the longer way this time and see how it looks. But as soon as I get done with this row, then I can go to the next row. You know what I'm saying? I was going from here to here, but it's better to do these two rows together. Or wherever you choose to put the two rows. Or maybe I put it here. I'll have to look at my other one. I'm pretty sure I put two rows together. Or maybe I put it here. Like I said, I'll have to check it. Um, but you do whatever you want to do. But like I said, when I did do it the first time around. And I just did this one row all the way around. You know what I'm saying? It hit it kind of hard. To I mean, I did do it and everything. But it makes it kind of hard to do the second row if you just do it right there that chunk together then it'll make it easier on you because it's kind of hard to leave it through you know what i mean if it's tight on the front part or whatever so anyways um it looks pretty cute um what i try to do is you know i'm just kind of showing you basically how to rip it and stuff like this the the squares and stuff but i usually try to get it all done all at one time have it right there in the basket you know all together and everything and then that way it's ready to go usually on the ribbons i usually have them cut as well i was just kind of showing you the colors um now how i did it a little bit different like okay this one here i cut it in half because that way you have a little bit more pieces and stuff this one i cut in half and then cut in to two more so that's fourth you know on this one because it was a big one and then you know or you can use the big one you know what i'm saying you can do little ones or big ones or however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But if you do cut them down, you're going to have a lot more ribbon. You know what I mean as well. This one, I'll cut it through the middle. This one cut through the down through the middle. That's two pieces. 
and then one piece on that and then two pieces on that there this one here two pieces and then that one which one Oh, it was two pieces, okay, as well. You could just keep it this size. Or I could choose to, you know, make it like this, you know, two or three times. And then just use this size. And then you have different sizes on the wreath. You know what I'm saying? Um, or I could have just made it this one big piece. I could do that. But I think it looks better. You only see cut down. And even look good in twos. You know what I mean? You have two pieces for this one size or whatever. So that is really pretty. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add this floral burlap ribbon or not. It's just kind of stringy. But it does look pretty on the wreath. And then I was going to get some burlap and cut it down and kind of put it into it. I kind of like the old style, you know, shabby chic, you know, with the burlap ribbon and old days they didn't have a lot of different things to use materials i kind of like that look i've always liked that look you know what i mean the shabby chics you know distressed look like something looks super old and half the time it was when i got it for my grandmother um in somerset and um when she gave me some bottles and stuff like that old bottles and vintage bottles and they're old and stuff like that of course you don't want to wash them off you want to have that look, you know, of old because it was old. And come to find out, you know, people do sell those bottles, but they actually do dig them out of the ground. I ran into some guy one time, and he lived on a lake. Um, can I think of his name? And um, he used to, he said him and his dad used to dig them out of the ground, which is freaking amazing that you can find bottles, old vintage bottles in the ground, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it washed up on sea or, you know, it's just amazing the things that you can find, to be honest. Um, the reason why I decided to do um, a wreath, like I said, you know, I just really like, you know what I mean, the ribbony type look. I have made these several times. Um, I, like I said, I'll probably run into, you know, I'm going, been going through my containers and trying to figure out, you know, what stuff I'm giving away and stuff that I already had, what I was giving away and what's going to the yard sale because, um, just need to condense some stuff down, you know what I mean? And I'll probably run into some more rag garlands, um, and wreaths. Um, I showed you the ones I had, but I know I've got Easter. I know I've got a Valentine's Day garland. I'm going to make a a wreath and a garland hopefully if I have enough or whatever that way I can put the garland in my room and these colors are real bright together and stuff like that you know what I mean um this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree is a really pretty color you know the light kind of a burlap light ribbon at Dollar Tree if you want to know where I got this stuff these I got at Walmart I got this at Walmart and this one at Walmart this one at Walmart, this one at Walmart, this one, this one, and this one. All those at Walmart, okay. And then, well, I guess a lot of it, um, these square things, they, like I said, they just got some more, not very many. I got the last two, the pink. They might have, um, they're getting more in, you know what I'm saying, trying to or whatever. So you can always get those at other places. Um, as well, but they seem to be a little bit cheaper at Walmart or they have at Myers and different places like that. Um, um, you know, the fabric places or whatever. But um, I tried to, like I said, you know, I was just showing you all how to kind of, you know, these, I just go cut them in half and then I just make a cut mark there. And then, you know what I'm saying, I just rip it. Let's see. Is there another? Anyways, that's how I do it. And then after I make that piece, you know, the long piece there, then I cut it in where, this, where the seam is, okay? And then you have two pieces. But you can make it as long as you want to make it. Like I said, the other one, the other wreath, the other red, white, and blue wreath, I made it shorter. You can make it shorter or longer or whatever. I might even add in some lace, you know what I mean? What I like to do is I kind of like to set it up and then... If I want to make, put some more in, I'll put some more in. Um, the girl from um, Diving with Chesers did a long wreath. She did the long one. I think that probably looks a little bit better. I mean, 
you know, than the one. It turned out good, but I think it needed to be a little bit longer, you know what I mean, look to it as well. So, anyways, like I said, I always try to have a couple pairs of scissors because, um, you know, when I'm cutting things, I may carry them off or, you know, who knows what happens to them, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, that way I have a couple pairs sitting around or whatever. It's really, you know, kind of a time-consuming thing, but it does keep your mind off things. And when I was doing the red, white, blue one, you know what I'm saying, I was watching, um, watching YouTube videos, the dumpster diving videos, and also watching TV. And it's just a way to have something to do with your hands while you're watching TV or watching YouTube channels or whatever. But, um, like I said, you can always cut these down, too. You know, you can do the um, slanted, you know what I mean? Or you can do the, um, I forget the name of it, but you can cut it. I forget what it's called, the, like this, and then cut it through the other way, and then have the little V at the, at the you know, down here. I've also seen people use the jagged, um, jaggedy, um, um, scissors, and that looks cool, too. So, you can do it that way as well. I mean, it's however you want to do it. It's your wreath. You know, you make what you want to make it how you want to make it. Like I said... If you, like this one right here, I could have cut it into two pieces and everything. But then, you know what I mean? I wanted it different. I want them all different sizes. You know what I'm saying? The ribbon. But it's however you want to do it. Um, like I said, I may set it up like this. And then I may just get tired of, you know, I don't know if I want to do it, you know what I mean, a pattern. And I just start throwing them on there randomly. And, you know what I mean, that looks good, too. So, you really can't mess up this wreath, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't sure about this color because it doesn't exactly go with this one. But when they're separated, it sort of matches, you know what I'm saying? It goes kind of goes together and stuff. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you all and everything how I make one of these wreaths in case you want to make one or whatever. Um, that other girl, I think she said she might want to make one or something. So here is how to make it. And if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to, um, you know, comment below. And I do really appreciate y'all stopping by my channel. That means the world to me. And like I said, you watch my, my videos and I'll watch your videos. You know, you know how it goes. Um, but anyways, um, again, thank you all so much and have a good day or night. I have to say have a good day or night because you never know, you know, what, you know, people are, they're, you know, different times, you know what I mean? Across the United States and the sun, you know, turns, you know, it's on different times and zones and everything like that. So anyways, you know, that's what I have to say. But, um, also too, the coronavirus has gotten worse and having to wear, those masks, you know, I mean, now having to really wear them restrictedly into the public places. I've been kind of cut back on dumpster driving. But, I mean, I'm still going to dumpster drive. Don't worry. I'm still going to dumpster drive because, you know, it's hard to... Once you start doing that, it's hard. It's really hard to stop doing that and everything. And I'm already wanting to go out tonight or whatever. And then I thought, I better not because what if my car stalls? Then I'll have to call a few people and see if they'll jump my car. And then the last time that I did that, it really kind of freaked me out because I was having a hard time starting it. And I thought the guy was going to have to pull my car around to the parking lot and have it towed. So I'm kind of leery about doing that and everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if I want to go to a few places that are close to me, maybe I could get away with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just really not the... It's not worth the risk. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because you're stranded. I don't want to really ask my dad to do something like that because he would get mad and I just don't want him to get upset. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, um, like I said, you can use this size here or like I cut it. You can leave it this size. Like you can leave it that size or you can cut it. It's however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, next time I might just use two pieces on this one thing here. So, 
Anyways, I hope I have enough to make a garland as well, because I really would like to have a garland for my room. Oh, another thing, I got, I got a a letter G, because G is uh, my last name, and I it's just you know, uh, is about this size kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And right, like that size right there, or whatever. I could put it right here. Maybe cut a couple flowers around it or something like that. And paint it, you know, maybe a pink color. Excuse me, pink color. But anyways, I'll show you all when I get it done. I just kind of wanted to show you all, you know what I mean, how I kind of set it up and everything. And uh, so a DIY of how I make these rigs and stuff. And I can show you later when I do the garland how I make it. It's very simple. So anyways, like I said, it's just very, very time-consuming. So... Anyways, um, I might even add some more ribbon, you know what I mean? And I'll show you that once I get it all done. I'll show you if I added any ribbon or anything like that. Like I said, um, thank you all so much for stopping by. Um, please like and subscribe if you like it or whatever. Um, please subscribe. I know there's a lot of people that are watching my videos that aren't even subscribed. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and everything. So, thank, again, thank you all for stopping by my channel. Please like and subscribe. As always, have a good day or night. Bye-bye.